Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. As you can see, I'm back here at Corvette World and there's a beautiful yellow C6ZR1 in the background here. And, Mike, uh, Mike! What? Hey, hey, we ain't got time for this right now. We ain't got time to do your introduction. We ain't got time to, for COVID mandates. We ain't got time to talk about <laughs> anything else because right here, right now, in Dallas, Texas, we've got the king of the hill, the CR1! Robert, what in the world was so important about this yellow ZR1? Can we say one of 375 and one of 23? And possibly one of maybe even less than 10? Okay, explain. Okay, PDE track package, ZR1. They only did them two years. Okay, so you think of the C7 ZR1, you think of the ZTK, the track package, gives you the high wing, you know, the stage three arrow, all that. Well. In 2012, they introduced the PDE track package for the C6 ZR1, and the results speak for itself. Uh, when Jim Miro ran around Nuremberg in the 2009 ZR1, he hit um, 726. When he ran a 2012 with the PDE track package, he did 719. Seven seconds. That's almost. awesome. I mean, it's a Crapping. lot. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's it's it really wow. it really made a difference. What the PDE track package gives you is full width spoiler in the back. Sport Cup 1 tires. I have to say 1 because now we have the Cup 2. At the time, they were the first. These are Sport Cups is what they called them. It gives you the ultralight cup wheels, which you now know frequently as the uh, Grand Sport wheels. Yes. They have a different part number, but it's the same exact rim, and they call them the ultralights because they are light. They're very light. And, um, and of course, you know, as Chevrolet's been doing, you know, each year, even in the same generation, to keep improving the magnetic ride. So the magnetic ride in a 12 and a 13 is definitely better than that of an 09. Right. You know, so all, and of course, some cosmetic improvements came with the 2012, including my favorite, the, the, seats. Uh, the seats. Yeah. Which to the stair, I'm, I still stand by it. These are the most comfortable damn seats Corvette's ever had. Um, also, remember we talk about these infamous steering wheel that you don't like. Okay, what's <laughs> different about this to the last one we talked about? Remember? See, look, oh, now, yeah, you, the now you won't grab it. Um, yes. They did away with the standard cross flags, a little chrome. So yeah, subtle, but improved. It is better, and oh, I do. And I do. Better. Yeah. So yes, absolutely. This particular car here is a um, Velocity Yellow, and in 2012 there were only 23 Velocity Yellow ZR1s oh, okay. total. So how many of those had the track package? I would guess less than 10. Sure. So you're in a fairly rare bird here. So they did a total of 375 track packages in 12 and 13. And then uh, you know, then you look at the, at the fact that 12 and 13 were low production years for the ZR1 in itself, 404 for 2012 to be specific, um, and this is one of only 23 in yellow. So you can take that all in. I got a very rare bird here. She's got, yeah, she's literally about to turn over to 10,300 miles even. So the mileage is still low. Um, everything about her is bone stock except for the LED accent, uh, or excuse me, marker lights and the uh, tail lights. Okay. And that's it. She's bone stock. And uh, I've already driven her uh, once already, and let me tell you. So then, why are you not letting me just drive? Uh, because no, <laughs> because it's a ZR1, and we are going to let you drive. You know that the routine. I know. But I got to start us off now. Come on, <laughs> look at this guy getting greedy. <laughs> Thinks he's going to just tog the wheel the whole time. The camera, you know, all my mistakes, you know, won't be as obvious when you're at least filming half of it. Well. <laughs> Feels so good. Brakes. Oh yeah, carbon ceramic giant brakes. Oh yes. What's funny about C6 ZR1s is I've noticed that I've driven about a couple dozen of them in the five years I've been here at Corvette World, and I don't know what it is. There seems to be a handful of them I get that just seem to be a little meaner than uh, usual, and they're still stock. They're not tuned, but yet they just—I don't know. There's something about them. They just—they seem to be a little bit more aggressive. This is one of them. I drove this one to get a state inspection last week. And it, it's just, man, I don't know. It it's feels just, more aggressive. It feels, to me. it feels meaner. It just, yeah. I don't. It's that's the best way I can describe it. It's just, it feels more visceral. Yeah, it and does it, to me too. And it burble pops the exhaust more. I'm it's loving awesome. it so far, man. And I'm the passenger. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. 
<laughs> oh man, that was a second gear pull. That feels yeah. And you barely you talk even, about you want to talk about a tall gear. Man, I don't know if I should even, say how fast I got on. <laughs> it felt like you barely even got on it too, yeah. and it still jerked me back in the seat mm -hmm. big time. Wow. Yeah, that's stronger than the other two zero ones I've driven. Yeah, I mean, look at it. Here's a third gear pull. You see the burbles? Oh yeah. yeah. I know we got the door wind car closed up. You roll the windows down, you get those burble pops. That's and awesome. Just, yeah. We've talked, uh, you know, those of you watching this video, you know, we've talked at several zero ones. We've done it several, you know, a few dry, you know, ride alongs on these things. Um, but as I recall, this is the newest one we've done a ride along. We haven't done a 12 or a 13. You know, these are. No, we haven't. 12 and 13 are virtually uh, contemporary with each other. All the improvements and the final improvements, if you will, to the C6 were done in 12. 13 carried over. The only difference is obviously 12 was the centennial, centennial year for Chevrolet, and 13 was the 60th birthday for Chevrolet. Yeah. <laughs> now, I see you're in tour right now. Yes, so, you know, when you go over train tracks and stuff, okay, now we talked about the problem with these wheels. Yes, these are the same kind of wheels you got to be careful with when it comes to cracking and that kind of thing. Okay, GM won their lawsuit. Why? Because the, um, the rims were designed to be a race wheel. If you're driving on side streets like this and Dallas roads, you know, we knock on Dallas roads or being from Chicago, I'll rip on Chicago roads too. Um, you got to take it easy. You got to be in a light mode, and if you're going to, go over something like train tracks you gotta slow down you gotta take it slow yeah it sucks you gotta slow and baby it over but i'm telling you you want you don't want to deal with these rim issues you gotta do that Woo! i don't even have to go in third to just to put on a show i mean it's just i mean the amount of pull is just it's insane. insane yeah i mean <laughs> it it really begs the question how it was it you know i you know the launch is the trickiest part in these cars it really is because it's a manual and you know with this kind of power you know let's face it the technology in the newer cars put it down better they just do than these older cars sure. but those that mid-range my god is it oh hard? yeah yeah i mean there's already been a few videos with you know c6 zr1s taking on you know the c8s Obviously, C8s get the launch every time, but then the Zero One just, oh, yeah. just pulls on past, you know, sure. because of all that power. And, and it, it's not alone. I wish I could find that video where this guy had a stock Zero One. He roll raced a whole bunch of stuff, GTs, Lambos, and he beat them all. Wow. But this guy here, if you watch the video, if anybody out there ever stumbles on it, he knew, I mean, he makes me look like Child's Play. This guy, I mean, he was, I mean, he was like, I mean, you know, you know people, you know, a professional when you know what they're doing when it comes to yeah, uh, yeah. shifting. Robert, I'm super excited to uh, get behind the wheel of a ZR1 again. It's been a long time, it seems like. It's and been... the first time with me in a 12. Yeah, exactly. Newer. Yeah. yeah, and given how rare and hard these things are to get nowadays, yeah. you know, this may not be Can a you... common occurrence anymore. Yeah, I mean, it's just getting harder and harder to get them. And, uh, I mean... As everybody that's taking a look at the ZC701 market these days, you know, if you are able to afford getting a hold of one, God bless you. Yeah. It is no joke how expensive it has become. I gotta say, this car feels like it's brand new. Now, it does have, what, 10,000 miles on it? 10,300, yeah. Yeah, but it feels like it's a brand new car to me. I think he likes it. Oh my gosh. That's second gear just mid-range in the is. RPM. You know, every car wow. with a stick shift always has its gear. You know, for the C4 ZR1, it was gear three. Third gear was always pulls like a hell. This thing, this second gear in this car is unbelievable. Yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what do you think, man? Mike? That's fun. What do you think, folks? Do you think Mike <laughs> should buy this to hold them over until the C8 Z06 comes? Oh, 
<laughs> You're not gonna have to twist my arm too much on this. Not one, on man. this one, no. Holy cow! Yep. This almost feels as strong as my C6 Z06 that was built. Yep. This car is ridiculous. That's what I'm saying. Like I said, you know, we've driven a few of these things, and you know, I don't. It, our, our first one we did, that red one. I even, you know, it's funny. That one did feel kind of mellow. I remember that yeah, one did feel did. kind of mellow. Yeah. Because that's why when you were comparing it, your C C7 Z06 felt a little bit more yes. forky than that one did, which I told him. So like, that's unusual because usually they're right on they're right on par with each other. Yeah. This, this one here would 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 run with yours all day long. Oh yeah. No. This one definitely feels just as strong the walk around video mike did you know the um tires on this one currently is the uh continental extremes which is the same tire he had on blue fury before he turned yeah. it in it is a great tire it is a non-run flat it's very smooth around corners and you still got a 20k plus tread life on it you know if you're decent you know with behavior obviously if you burn out you'll do less but you ain't got no track tire on this one currently supercharger a little bit in this one yeah, you notice yeah. that too yeah you got the wine. yeah the, and it's a clean wine it ain't a noisy like oh the variance out wine oh it's uh yeah it's nice dude this, it, this it, thing's got my heart rate up i'm telling you this i told you amazing. this is this is why i wanted you to come to this car because once i drove it i was like oh man we got to do the video on this car <laughs> yeah so this is not like i said for those of you watching this it's like, oh, this is deja vu. Well, now nah, I'm telling no. you, you're sitting in this thing. It's not deja vu. It's not. Is it a sales pitch on this car? You better believe it. If you, <laughs> if you want, if you want a C6 ZR1, or you just want a ZR1, any ZR1 of any generation, it's here. It's right here, right now, and it's less than 100 grand. You yeah, know, a lot less than. Yeah, grand. considering I got the original window sticker, 127. Okay, <sighs> so. You know, again, you know, it's you know, and that's not counting tax. So you do the math. I mean, this is. Yeah. What is this? Eighty? Yeah. Yeah, I got it at um, eighty-three. Eighty-three. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I mean, for eighty-three thousand dollars, you're getting the king of all C sixes. Yep. You're getting six hundred and thirty-eight horsepower, a track pack car. Whether you're going to take it to the track or not, it's going to make it hold its value more mm -hmm. because it's super rare. And it is the strongest I've driven. I think this is my third. It's either the third C or fourth C six Z we've done. Yeah. yeah. So I've driven quite a few C six Zs now, and this thing just takes the cake. It is the strongest. I mean, this feels yep. like I said, extremely close to my C six Z O six, and it feels almost identical to my C seven Z O six. But my C six Z O six was the strongest Corvette I've ever owned. And now, what about your okay? And what about your opinion on these seats? Okay. Oh, I love them. Compared to the ten, it's oh not, yeah, it's not even close. Yeah, the seats are phenomenal, um, especially because they have the suede oh, in them, comfort. so they hold you in place, and they're super comfortable. They feel like basically to me, they feel very close to the C7 seat that I had in my Z06. Yeah, the GT1. Yep. Yeah. Um, they're. I'd almost say they're more comfortable than. Now, for those of you watching on camera, I hope you can see how that put me back in my seat just there. I wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, and that's why I did it, because I knew you probably wouldn't suspect hey, at least, that. Hey, at least you were like when I was on a test drive, and I had this guy, <laughs> I'm talking to him like this, and it's like, what? <laughs> it does this to me. It's like, uh, and, I, and I looked at him after, he's like, don't worry, I'm buying the car. I'm like, yeah, you better after doing oh that. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. I mean, this thing is... Enough said. I, I'm it, it's, there you go. That, that's it, folks. That's it, folks. That's why, again, I, so I, I drug him out here, and I've been pestering him to do this. You know, I was like, you know, Jason did the walk around, front seat driver, for those of you who yeah, don't know. Yeah. He did the walk around, and I'm like, all right, now we got to drive it. <laughs> you know, we got to drive it. You know, because, again, yeah, this is, this car is, you've got to see this car. I mean, and, it's, it's And just, you guys know that I absolutely love manual transmissions. Uh, I don't obviously own one right now, but God, what I was a very friendly love gearbox to have another one, um, and this would be the car to to buy yeah. to to get the manual transmission. Yeah. I mean, yes, the C7 Z06 is amazing, 
C7ZR1 is even more amazing, but I'd rather have this than a C7ZR1 or a Z06 now, because I've already had the Z06. So I'd rather have this and yeah, it's something just, something older, something newer. Yeah, you know? yeah, something older. It'd be a nice tandem for his channel, C6Z, C8Z, Z06. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, you could have all three. Keep Captain America, too. You know, you got them right in the middle. You got your daily, you got your weekender, you got your track car. <laughs> yeah, I need you guys to buy more merch so I can buy this. Exactly. Come on, guys. Buy as much merch as we can. We got to we gotta get him to Street Speed 717 level, all right? We got to right. get him there because, you know what? After that, channel self-sustaining. He'll have a garage full. That's and, right. you know, and yeah. he's even got a neighbor Mark, you know, so... <laughs> You know, it's kind of funny. Both neighbor Mark and neighbor Rich would love this car. You know, oh, the, the, the being a manual and Mark, an old school. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, this is this car is a, is a, it, they really are. The, the great thing about the C6 is it's it really was something old, something new. And the 12 and the 13s pinnacled it because they did all the latest and greatest improvements. Yeah, they did the the subtle the subtle cosmetic improvements make a difference. This interior is cleaner. The steering wheel, uh, right, Mike? Do you like the steering wheel better now? Oh, I love this steering wheel. See, look at that. Look at that. See, I what mean, do a few mirrors make? A 10? He complains. Yes. He hate knocking on my steering wheel. <laughs> I got even Street Speed calling it a Cobalt steering wheel, even though the Cobalt didn't get it until two years after the wheel debuted. I mean, it's like, get out of here, you guys. Anyway, <laughs> this steering wheel is night and day much better yes. than you know the c6 normal steering wheel so yeah. i love it it feels great it feels solid it's got the bolsters on it i feel like i'm actually gripping a you know sporty steering wheel yeah. so yeah it's night and day different yeah. and much better and again uh for those of you who don't know um 12 and 13 you get the usb auxiliary port so even on a modern phone you don't get the car play or any of that but you, you can at least plug in your phone you know, feed in your music, feed in uh, power. You know, so you don't, you know, you don't have to do some aftermarket Jimmy rig if you don't want to. Go drop you back to tour. Right? I would yeah. love to have this car on a track. Oh yeah, love to have this car on a track. Well, well, who knows, Mike? I gotta check my lotto tickets in a couple days. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll buy it and we'll go on a track oh, together. <laughs> pulls high it pulls hard as hell on the high ends oh yeah in this car it, the, the 100 to 150 on this car is insane i mean oh, it, for, sure. it, it's it, sure. it's the z7 z06 is harder to 100 there's no questions asked right. on that but from right. 100 to 150 this one pulls this harder be better. Yeah. and they both have the same top speed so i mean either way you get it there it's all where it's at and what i like about that for a manual transmission having that pull in that high end it's just so fun yeah because it makes roll racing yes so entertaining in this car people everybody else has a shift while you're still going up in the rpm yep <laughs> now launches are tricky on this car you know is this car capable of a 10 second quarter yes it is there have been a couple that have clocked that uh, i've seen them where they've clocked 10 9 and even one to hit a 10 8 which ties the c7 z06 but again it's it's hard to do it because the launch on this thing is really tricky but the mid band like a half mile race this thing's deadly so I have class. one complaint. Uh oh, no rev match? No. <laughs> I like doing that myself. Ah. I have one complaint though, and that complaint is there's not enough sound. Yes, the stock exhaust, even though they got burbles, you're not getting it. It doesn't come into the cab. No. It doesn't reverberate through like the C7 Z06. That is true. Yeah. But again, there's a lot of easy solutions for that. And oh, being yeah. that it is a C6, see so the C7s, I definitely go with Corsa, but when it comes to C6, I go with Borla. I'm a Borla guy on C6. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, oh my goodness, this has been a treat. Thank you so much for <laughs> inviting me out to drive this. It's uh, still available, guys. I've had it on my showroom for three and a half weeks. Okay, it's depressing wow. me. Come on, guys. Now, we've had offers. We don't take offers, guys. We're no haggle because, again, yeah. I ain't got a lot of holdback in this thing because we had to spend a lot to get it. We've been working the gentleman that sold this to us for over two months before he finally gave in. And I'm not kidding. It took a while. Um, he had a car collection. The previous owner would trailer it everywhere he went. Oh, okay. Okay? He was one of those guys. So, yeah, it's got 10,000 miles on it, but they're all highway miles. He didn't 
wreck it down country roads and stuff. This was his baby. Yeah, you can tell. Like I said, it literally feels like a brand new car. The 4,000 mile one, if you remember the gray one we did, was like this. It was that clean. That one was really clean. But you remember the red one? It was a little rough. You know, remember yeah. it had, it, it, you know, it, you could tell it had 30,000 miles. Yeah. On it. This thing, you know, my, my dad, 10,000 mile car and this interior, you put them in there together, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Yeah. They're that close. Even the steering wheel. It's got texture yeah, in the it's leather. It's got texture, exactly. You know, yeah. that's you know, it means he's not white knuckling it, he's not no. tracking it, he's not abusing no. it, he's not licking fries and touching it like some people do. You know, they do it. I'm telling they you. I mean, yeah. You know, yeah. you'd be amazed what my detail guy goes through sometimes when we get sure. our cars in, you know. Sure. So but yeah. Yeah, so this it is a big time treat to drive it because like I said, it feels like a brand new car. It is the king of C6s. Uh you guys know how much I'd love to own a, a C6 ZR1. And uh, I think you should definitely check this car out. Come subscribe, into Corvette World. Subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> come on, subscribe. He's almost at 50,000, guys. Come on, come on, get him up. Yeah, I'm, come I'm on, trying to get on, there. Come I'm on, come on. trying to get there. Come on, we got a month and a half. We got to get it done. That's right. Come on. That's right. Come on, 50,000, guys. Come on. Get the word out. Let's get this man some more views, and we'll get more content out. And uh, eventually... My sorry butt's gonna finally get into a vet, and uh, we're gonna have some uh, more fun stuff on the track together. So you know, that those are days where I will come down the road. So, Heck yeah, yeah. But yeah, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Also, like he said, don't miss another video by making sure you smash that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Share it and share it, and follow me on all my social media: Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you guys out on the road. And remember, life begins at 180 miles an hour. <laughs>